please. I am so thirsty, man. My mouth is as dry as a bag of flour. Ah. It's like, what is this? my doggies welcome back to another video i'm about to take on a two-day survival challenge no food no water bow and arrow out here in remote remote australia now that is exactly what i'm looking for that's an old glass bottle full of sand it's got a couple of rocks inside it we'll go down there to the coast in a little while we'll clean this bottle out but a bottle like that is extremely valuable out here right now. That is gonna come in handy for sure. Look at this. Another one bites the dust. What is that? That's hectic. Is that a rabbit? Or a rat? That is crazy, man. Whatever that is, that's hectic. There's its fur there. Brutal. That is another perfect example of treasure. Plastic bottle. That will definitely, definitely come in handy. What I gotta do now is I gotta start really pushing on. There's a little bit of a creek, not too far up the coastline here. I wanna hit that creek. Once we hit that creek, we're gonna have to use this sun to generate drinking water. So we really can't waste any more time right now. I'm just gonna start powering through the bush. We've gotta find this creek once we get to the creek. It's all about making this drinking water, finding shelter, somewhere to sleep tonight, and we'll put these bottles that we found into use. Another victim of this extremely harsh environment. It's a graveyard out here. I'm probably gonna call that a little baby goat. That's a little baby goat skull. He would have suffered probably from dehydration out here. It's hot, it's dry, there is no water around. This is just a little bit of a boneyard or a graveyard right here. The whole entire goat is laying here on the ground. I'm sweating bullets out here right now. We are digging a big hole in the earth here. We are gonna turn salt water into drinkable fresh water in our little base camp which we've made in the background here. All right, this hole is looking pretty decent right now. What I'm gonna to have to do is walk all the way over there. In the distance over there is the ocean. We're gonna to have to go get ourselves a little bit of salt water, bring it back inland. The reason why I'm not making base camp next to the ocean Number one is because of the insects and mosquitoes, the sand flies are gonna be hectic. Number two, when the wind picks up this afternoon, you don't have any shelter when you're next to the ocean. Bringing yourself into the bush a little bit more, there's a lot more shelter. These small shrubs in the background, we're, a lot, we're sheltered from the wind here. So we're gonna take these two bottles, we're gonna walk all the way down to the ocean, and we're gonna start doing runs. We're just gonna start bringing back salt water back to this hole which we've dug here. Welcome to the playground. This right here is what I'm gonna call the playground. This salt water here, 100% not drinkable, but we're gonna turn this salt water into drinking water in that hole we've dug over there. We're gonna fill these two bottles up. We're gonna give them a good clean out, and we're gonna start lugging water back and forth from here, back to that hole. We're gonna fill that hole up with this salt water. I've got a much, much better idea. Instead of filling up these bottles with salt water, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our backpack here, and this is how we're actually gonna make salt water into fresh drinkable water. We're gonna be making a solar still. So what I'll do is I'll turn this piece of plastic here into like a big balloon, and we'll just take the water back in one run. 
Look at that. That is gonna be a lifesaver out here. A plastic bag or a sheet of plastic like this here literally will save my life out here right now. I don't wanna be looking like any of those goats or any of those bones that we've seen earlier this morning. So what we'll do is we'll lug this big heavy bag of salt water back to camp. We're gonna turn this salt water here into fresh drinking water. This plastic bag or this plastic sheet which we have it's not going to let the water evaporate into the sand or the sand won't suck up the water. Look at that, that's perfect. What I'll do is I'll cut the top off of this drink bottle here. Okay, we've got the plastic bottle which we've just cut the lid off. That's the bottle we found down the beach before. Here's a rock I found down the beach. That rock is just going to go inside that plastic bottle like that there. We're going to sit that bottle in the center of that salty water with the rock. What the rock does, that just weighs it down, make sure it doesn't fall over. We've got a heap of beautiful salt water on the side here. Now that little bottle there, you don't want it to be any higher than the ground level. So that's a little bit lower than ground level, dead center of the hole. Now it's time for the next step. Oh, I can already taste the water. Right, this is starting to look real good. The last thing we need to do is get this little rock here. I'm just, I can see that bottle, the bottom's right there. So I'm just gonna drop that little rock smack bang in the middle of that bottle. It's very important to have that rock in the center of the bottle, which it is right now. And that is it. Just like that, we've got ourselves a water making system. Super simple, all you need is two sheets of plastic or one sheet of plastic, really. I keep this in my backpack 95% of the time. In my car, I've always got a bit of plastic like this. It always comes in handy. But what's happening right now is we've got water, salt water in the bottom, plastic on the top. So what's gonna happen now is that boiling hot sun is beaming down on this little piece of plastic here. The salt water on the inside is gonna start getting hot. It's gonna wanna start evaporating. It's gonna rise. The fresh water will rise from the salt. It'll get stuck on top of this big bit of plastic we've put up here. Then it's all gonna get caught, trapped up the top. It's gonna to drain into that little rock we've done, we've put in the middle. Then it's just gonna be drip, drip, drip into that bottle which we've put in the center of that. Over the course of the day, this thing's gonna give us a fair bit of drinking water. Not heaps, but it's definitely gonna be enough to survive out here. And if you look at this, this is super, super interesting. This solar steel which we've made here has been like up and running for no more than two to three minutes. And look at this. You can already see condensation forming all over the plastic. Look at it there. That's all condensation on the inside there. It is already doing its thing. You little ripper. Oi! You reckon you could find a straight stick out here? This is the straightest stick I could find. There's nothing straight about it. It's like a noodle, but it will do. This is all we need for a shelter right now is this one stick. It is bloody hot out here right now. That little solar stool that we've got working down here in the corner, pumping along. The condensation on the roof is incredible. There's a lot of water getting formed inside there. I am melting. I'm gonna get this shelter set up, hide in here for an hour or two because this is the peak of the day right now. It's getting bloody hot. Let's dig this into the ground, build an epic little shelter. Ah! Oh, that's awesome. I've just got the biggest splinter in my finger. Look at that. That's a solid splinter. We're just going to drive this stake really deep into this dirt. We're going to smash it in with the back of the knife. Ass, 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 ass. That ain't going nowhere. 
We're going to wrap this string around the base of that stake. I'm going to lock it off. Just like that. Look at that, it's like a guitar string. All right, we are done. All right, this is what I'm going to use as a shelter tonight. This place is prolific for snakes. It's going to be real bad for mosquitoes tonight. So I'm just going to put this little tarp over these two over these two bits of wood that we've made and that string in the center. This is just going to keep us out of danger for the rest of the night. I'll tie this up. It'll be good in here. Have a look at this inside. Nice, oh, this is going to be awesome to sleep in here. Heaps of room out of the way from insects, bugs and snakes. I like it. This is home and I am bloody excited about it too. We're making drinking water down there. I have finally got some shade. Look at this, there is nowhere to take shade or shelter out here right now, but we've got it sitting right here. Look at this. Yeah, doggy! Oh, this is sick. Now, this is one of the first videos ever where we've actually slept in a proper, like a proper roofed shelter. I'm gonna sleep good in here tonight. This is gonna be real good. Look at the views. We've got some of the best views outside here. Making drinking water down there. Woo! Tell you what, it's pretty bloody nice just to sit in the shade for one second. This is the first bit of shade I've had all day. It's stinking hot outside. This is good, man. I like this. This is real good. Have a go at it. Oh, that was good. I've had a couple of minutes just hiding away from this sun. Sitting in our little shelter there. It is bloody hot right now, but it's good to get in the shade of the shelter. It's very good. Our water maker down here, that thing's pumping out some serious water. But now we've got shelter. We might have water. We've got to go get a little bit of food. And that's the next thing that I'm going to do right now. I've had a bit of a rest. What we're going to do is we're going to run down to that creek down the back there. See what, any kind of food we can find. Fish, crabs, octopus, whatever we find. That's what we're going to be eating tonight. So. Let's go start this food, let's go try to, whoa, I can't even speak man, it's that hot. Let's just go try to find some food doggies. I'm starving, let's get it done. Now this is when it starts to get very, very fun. We're gonna leave the shelter and the water maker behind us. We're gonna go find some food. This is what gets me going, trying to catch food. I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what to expect out here, but we're gonna go get ourselves a little bit of grub and I'm excited about it too. Hopefully we can get a little bit of food before that sun sets. We've still got a couple of hours up our sleeve, so it shouldn't be too bad. Check this out. Another one bites the dust. Look at that, dude. That's a snake carcass. That's a dead snake. Nothing survives around here. What chance have I got? A dead snake. Add that to the list of the Boneyard crew. That's where the snake's head would have been. You can just see his mouth just there. That's pretty sick. Dead snake. Anyway, look at that actually, that's a great idea. Look at that toothpick. I am gonna use that as a toothpick right there. That is a toothpick if I've ever seen one. Right now, I'm just gonna start walking along the shallow edge here. Just seeing what I can pick up, any kind of edible shells, any kind of like fish that are sort of sitting right up on the bank or trying to chase them in shallow. We've got the bow and arrow back at base camp, but I don't want to use that bow and arrow on left over unless we really end up starving. I want to see if we can find stuff without the bow and arrow. So that's the challenge. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge, all right, but I reckon we'll find some kind of grub in here. We've just got to be real observant. Here we go, here we go. Have a look at this. Look at this, look at this. Big mullet. There's a big school of mullet just up here. I don't know if you guys can see those mullet, they're sitting under that tree. If I had the bow and arrow right now, we'd be eating good. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Here we go, check that out. Little shark sitting right there. Look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Just behind, just went up behind that log there. Oh, you're allowed to, you catch him and you eat him. 
There's a little bit of tucker. Check that out. That is a little bunch of oysters stuck to a stick. That is good grub right there. That's what you call a lollipop. Like that's actually a lollipop. Beautiful grub on a stick, man. <laughs> that's gonna be good. Put that in the backpack for sure. Look at this. This is the this is actually the jackpot right now. Check this out. We have got oysters all over the place. There's oysters that hang around the bottom of these mangrove roots right now. And um, if you guys watch the channel, you know how much I love eating oysters, especially fresh like this from out of the wilderness. That's a good handful of oysters there. And there is no shortage of them. They're absolutely bloody everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna try to upgrade. That one there's a little fella, we'll chuck him back. We'll just walk around here, we'll upgrade, see if we can get some big dogs. That's the first thing we're gonna be eating all day, oysters. I'm not complaining about that. You wouldn't bloody believe it. I thought I was in the middle of nowhere. It feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. That is a perfect, perfect glass. Still has a sticker on the bottom. It's like a whiskey cup. Ah, that's gonna come in handy around the campfire or around the camp this afternoon. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig into a couple of these oysters. I've got a backpack full of oysters. Check this out. There's so many oysters out there. I'm just gonna pop them straight open. Have a feed on the side of the bank here. We'll keep pushing on. First thing I've eaten all day. They're not gonna be easy to open these oysters because they're actually not connected to anything. So you can't really get into them. I think I'm just gonna have to pop them, eh? Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at this. Fresh as it gets. Oysters, straight out of the mangroves. Oh, I'm gonna fill myself up on them, look at this. This is as fresh as it gets, doggies. Come on, where are you gonna go? Get off, get off. Look at that, little balls of snot, straight from the ocean. Oh, little snotty flavor bombs, that's what they are. Oh, here comes another one. Straight away, look at that. Big sloppy one, straight off the stick. Mm. Oh man, that's really good. A Little bit of shell in these ones, but it's all good. After an incredible feed of oysters, I've actually pushed out to the ocean side now. I'm just lo really looking around and being observant of the area that I'm in. And what I can see is that there are many and many of these shells. Now that shell is called a cockle shell. And I'm telling you, there is no shortage of them around here. They're absolutely everywhere. Look at this. There are hundreds of them. These are called cockle shells. They're all over the beach. They're absolutely everywhere. And um, that gives me a very good thought or a very good feeling that if I go out in that sand out there, dig my hands and drag them through the sand, there could possibly be cockles in the sand. And if my thoughts are correct, we're gonna be eating good. Look at this, this is what I'm talking about. They are the cockles which I've come for. You can eat every single one of the inside of them. Beautiful. They're not too big, they're not too small. They're a real good little feed. Look at that thing. That's what we're gonna be eating around that camp that we've made. That wind has come in, it is cranking right now. I hope you guys can hear me. It's windy, but what, what I'm doing is I'm just dragging my hands through the sand. Basically, I'm just doing this. Look at this, ready? Oh, there's a dead one there. I'll find one for you right now. Boom! Look at that, there's one right there. That is a little cockle. This is what we're going for. I've got a whole handful here. I've got a pocket full here. We got a good feed going on. I'm gonna see if I can get a couple more. Then we're gonna have one hell of a feed around our camp light up there later on. They're just under the surface of the sand. Look at that. It's as easy as that. There's another one right there. Boom! I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna walk way out the back, see how many more we can get, but that right there is a pretty good feed. Couple in me pocket. Life is good, man.
where you've got more than enough cockles to have one hell of a feed, man. My back pocket right here, check this out. This back pocket is loaded with cockles. I've got handfuls of cockles here. I've got cockles in my back pocket. We are gonna have one hell of a feed. If I say cockle one more time, I'll give you permission, permission to slap me in the face. But we've got a good feed going on here, doggies. I'm gonna walk all the way back to where base camp is, start setting up a little bit of a cooking system. We're gonna boil these up and that's our dinner for the night. Mwah. water on top of this water catchment here. That's good. We've got big, big beads of water dripping down to the center of the rock. That's good. Our little house, or our little tent has stood the, the test of time. It's windy right now. We've got a billy full to the brim of salt water and very good eating cockles. Down here we've got our water catchment. That thing's, that thing's working like a dream. Over here, our tent hasn't blown away. Oh, big day, my legs are killing me. I've walked so far today. But we're looking up, but things are looking good. We've got water making over there. We've got food in the billy, shelter behind me. Ain't no complaints here. Look at this. The tent is up. This is what I want to show you guys, check that out. Look at all the water on top of here. Look at that. Big water driplets all over this thing. You can see that they've actually been running down all towards the rock. There's heaps of little run lines all hitting that rock. That means it's dripping down into our bottle. Look at it all, making its way down to that rock. Look at it all, little running races. Look at all this water dripping down here. Yes, I'm so thirsty. I'm happy about this. That's good. That's good. This is good. I'm happy. Right now is the moment of truth. Am I going to get a mouthful of water out of this? Look at all the water that's still stuck on the top of the plastic. I can see water in the bottle in the bottom there. I'm going to show you guys how much water we actually got out of this contraption. Now this has still got a heap of water in it. If I bang it, hit it, shake it, look at all that water on the bottom. It's not clean. It's not, it's not clean at all, but that is drinking water all stuck to the bottom there. That's pretty impressive. But what's really impressive is this. Check this out. <laughs> look at this. This is, it's water. It's not a lot, but it's water. Check that out. That is drinking water, 100%. We purified that today out of salt water. It's definitely not a lot of water, but it is drinking water. This is gonna taste good. This is gonna taste really good. I'm gonna enjoy this right here, right now. 100% drinking water, made from salt water. First thing to hit my lips all day. They're dry, they're cracked. This is gonna be good. I don't think eating them salty oysters helps me out anyway, but here we go, a little bit of water. Still a little bit salty actually. I can just feel that go straight down. That is good, that's not bad at all. The salt factor is like 1%, it's nothing crazy. That's pretty fresh water. There's not a lot of it in there, look at that. But it's still water, we still did it. If you had a couple of these set up, maybe five, six, seven, eight, ten, you'd get a heap, you'd probably get one bottle of water a day. And I only, I only probably set this up at about nine o'clock this morning, so I didn't have the full day, but bloody good. Oh, that is a bloody good feeling. Taking your shoes off. Oh, I've done some serious case today. We've done a lot of walking, and now it is time to start cooking up a feed. The one thing which is a little, that sucks just that little bit is that we can't actually have fires here right now. Unfortunately, right now, where I am in Australia, we're not allowed to have fires, which puts a little bit of salt and pepper on top of this mission because I've been walking around all day with a gas bottle in my backpack with this gas burning head in my backpack. Also, I've been walking around with a billy in the backpack all day. All of this stuff, it gets wedged inside that backpack. 
and um, it just makes it a little bit harder and it's a little bit, it's just not as good cooking on a fire, but these cockles are still gonna taste incredibly good. We're gonna cook them on a gas cooker down here. So I'm just gonna simply boil these cockles in a billy full of salt water. Salt water is probably gonna dehydrate the living hell out of me, but I got no other way of cooking it. All I got out here is a billy, and that is it. I got no fresh water to boil them in. Just gonna do what we can do, man. I love doing this. It's fun, it's exciting. I'll probably be dehydrated again, wake up with a head up, headache, like every one of these survival episodes that we do, but right now we are underway. We're boiling about, I don't know, how many cockles and maybe 20 cockles we've got to eat? Look at that, we've even got a little bit of coffee. See that black stuff floating around in there? That's old coffee from the last episode we did. We're gonna have coffee infused cockles. Yeah, boy! One or two minutes, we're gonna be eating cockles. That sun's about to set. Everything is good, man. It is going to be a cockle party. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, they're ready. They're ready. Look at that view. Look at this. That's what it looks like now, that little shell, it's actually opened up. And that little bit of meat there is what we're going to be eating. Look at that. Now it is time to seriously get stuck in to these beautiful little treats in the bottom of this billy here. This is gonna be good, this is gonna be real fun, real fun. All right, what we're doing is, I think I'm doing something what I guarantee you nobody has ever done before. I'm using this. That is a snake's rib cage. Believe it or not, that's the bone I took out of that snake. What I'm gonna be doing with this is, I'm gonna be getting our little cockles, just like this, I'm gonna be getting me bone. I'm gonna pick the meat out of the cockle, and that's what we're eating, off a snake bone. Oh, they're good. They're treats, eh? They're real good little treats. Eating it with a bloody snake's rib bone. Oh, they're good. Good find, very good find. Actually not bad at all. Look at that sunset right now. Sun is just melting over that hill over there, eating cockles with the rib cage of a snake. Tell you what, doggies, these challenges are hard, but at the same time, they're bloody enjoyable, especially in moments like this. Actually a bloody crack shot. Oh. oh ho, ho. these fish have got no chance tomorrow. How much fun is shooting a bow and arrow at sunset, getting me eye ready for that fish we're gonna catch for breakfast tomorrow. It is gonna get very dark very, very quickly. I'm gonna get inside my little house here. Look at this. This is too good. And that is it. We've had a big feed of cockles. We've not had enough water. We had a big feed of oysters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in here. I'm gonna get a little bit of shut eye. I'm gonna try my hardest. We've got no blankets. We've got no pillows. We've got none of that good stuff. 
I'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna go get a fish with a bow and arrow. Ow! Good bloody morning doggies. It's freezing. I used this bit of plastic last night as a doona to put this plastic over my legs. Oh, it was actually quite warm. It actually kept me good. It, was, it wasn't bad. I had a shit sleep. Probably one of the worst sleeps ever. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't a good sleep. There was nothing good about it. This whole entire ground is just full of these sharp shells. I've got sand in my eye right now, and this eye, I can feel sand in my eye. I've got no water to wash it out with. There's sand all over my hands. Oh. Oh. So what, it is a bloody beautiful morning right now. I reckon we're gonna get the bow and arrow out. We'll go plug a couple of fish, and um, that's gonna be our breakfast. Let's get the bow and arrow out. Let's see if we can shoot a couple of fish in that creek. I'm just going to sit here for five minutes and wake up first. I haven't even seen a fish yet. There's nothing around. Heaps of small fish here. Come on. Struggling to find fish in close. There's a lot of fish out deep, but they're not in close. Have a look at this. This is what it's all about right now. That right there is a fishing sinker. That right there is a fishing hook. And it is majorly tangled up in this mangroves. There's a fishing line here. That's a stick. Covered in fishing line. Fishing line all over it. We've got a sinker down the bottom. We've got how many hooks have we got on here? We've got a swivel. We've got one hook in the middle here. Let's see if we can get a fish with this. Bow and arrow just doesn't work. It's too deep. There's a lot of water moving out. We've got an outgoing tide right now. Water's draining. Let's see if we can get a fish with what we just found. Well, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to sharpen this tiny little fishing hook, it's actually quite rusty and it is not sharp whatsoever. So I'm just trying to use this, the blade of the knife and just scratch the rust off and get a little bit more of a sharp edge. We're gonna crack a shell, we're gonna chuck it out there, we're gonna see if we can get some breakfast. That is a little bit of snail on a hook. I'm gonna send it out right now. Let's see if we can get a fish on this. Good. Oh, 
fish, fish, fish. That's a fish on. Fish on, fish on. No way, dude. Yeah. <laughs> fish on. Oh, fish off. You're joking. On a found fishing hook and sinker, we've just got ourselves a beautiful little brim. This is called a brim. Obviously, I'm not allowed to eat this thing. These have a size limit here in Australia, and he is way too small. But tell you right now, mate, if this was a real survival situation, you were stuck out here in the bush, you found that hook, you would be extremely happy with that. That is a beautiful little brim. A couple of them would feed you up, but I'm not allowed to keep this little fella. So he's going to go back. See you, mate. Thank you. That was sick. Second little bit of bait to hit the water. We've got a brim straight on the deck. Good fish. He's going back. Oosh. See you, mate. Let's go, this is the one. This is the mama mama. All right, you big dog. I'm coming straight at you this time. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Get him up. Yeah, doggy. All right, just because we've let two fish go doesn't mean we're gonna have a beautiful breakfast. This shallow water here holds some incredibly good tasting protein. I'm gonna catch one with my hat. We're gonna have a feed for breakfast. Watch this. Gotcha. Look at that, just like this, we have all of these little shrimp in the bottom of my hat. They're good chewing. They're real good chewing. Look at them all. We've got heaps of little baby shrimp in the bottom of the hat here. Check this out. This is a handful full of little protein balls. Look at these little shrimp. Look at that. That's breakfast. Here we go. The protein breakfast. A heap of little shrimp. Oh. There's nothing like shrimp for breakfast. Look at that little fella there. Gone. Not bad. Well, that definitely was not a filling breakfast. What I might do is I might run along the bank here, get a couple more oysters, see what else I can find. But that was a super fun mission. I am so thirsty, man. My mouth is as dry as a bag of flour. I had one of the most horrible nights sleep last night. But we got the mission done, we made water, we slept in a little shelter, we got food, we just ate shrimp for breakfast. I'm gonna go down here on the bank and eat a couple of oysters for breakfast as well. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like it if you wanna, and I'll see you in the next video, doggies. Thanks so much for watching, and much love. Hi. Oh, if you guys wanna get yourselves one of these epic hats, they keep the sun off your noggin, they also actually catch shrimp and fish, We've also got these good threads here, a heap of good fishing lures. If you guys want to support the channel and help me keep doing what I'm doing, make sure you bang this button here. Go and get yourself some good threads. It'll be much appreciated. Much love, doggies. I'll see you in the next video. That was super fun. Look at this. Tide's draining out. Oysters. We're about to have a big feed of oysters. Oh, yeah, baby. See you in the next video, doggies. Much love.